Hi there, my name is George, and in this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to set up and run a portable new Visual Studios project using the Racknet Airlect example demo. A few things I must first mention is, I'm not going to explain the methods of setting the project my way or elaborate on network design. The intention of this tutorial is to get you building this example as quick as possible. I strongly recommend that you make time after to review the Racknet classes and network flow to better understand the network architecture. As a warning, we are going to be using several open source components, some of which are not free. Racknet Networking being one of them, and IronClang for sound. This software may be free to obtain, however, there's a fee if you plan on making money with these components. This is for educational purposes. Look into the respective websites for more on price point. That being said, this tutorial expects that you have an intermediate experience with programming in Visual Studios. You will need ready these three things. Visual Studios 2010, Racknet 4.0, Airlict 1.8. All right, let's begin. I have already extracted the mentioned files to my desktop. Open up Visual Studio. Name your solution whenever you like. For example purposes, I named mine name. You're going to create Win32 empty project. After that's done, go ahead and build. Just ignore the errors. This will create a debug folder at the solution directory. After that's done, go ahead and minimize Visual Studio. Find and open your solution folder. For visual simplicity, minimize your dialog box to one half of the screen. Open your project folder. Open the Airlick folder. Move the dialog box onto the other half of the screen. Copy the include folder and paste it in your project folder. Do the same with the media folder. In the Airlick window, Navigate to the lib folder, copy the Win32 Visual Studio folder, paste that over. Go back to Airlix root folder, navigate to the bin folder, step in to the Win32 folder. Scroll to the bottom, copy the Airlix DLL. Go back to your solution folder, and paste it in the debug folder. The folder should have been automatically created for you when you've tried compiling at the start of the tutorial. Go ahead and close Airlict. Open your Racknet folder. Copy the source folder from Racknet and paste it to your project folder where the other copied folders are. For naming confliction's sake, we are going to rename the source folder to something different. I chose Racknet source. Be aware of the camel casing. Going back to Racknet, we are going to navigate to the dependent extensions folder, open the Aerolic demo. We are going to control click seven items, copy both the headers and CPPs. See demo, see main menu, Racknet stuff, and main. Paste them in your project folder. Go back to Racknet. Copy both Airlict Media and the IR Clang folder. Paste that in your project folder. Grab the IR Clang folder. Place that inside your Airlict Media folder. Go back to Racknet and grab the IR Clang DLL and place it in the same debug folder where you placed the previous DLL earlier. Reopen your project folder. Going back to the Racknet folder, we are going to step back into the dependent extensions and copy the mini UPN and PC 1.5 and paste it in your project folder.
In the RackNet folder, we're going back to the root and open the samples folder. Scroll down to the PHP directory server 2 and open it. Copy the PHP header and CPP files and not the main. You're going to paste them in your RackNet source folder. Close RackNet folder. We're done copying assets. Maximize your Visual Studios. Before we start including folders, we are going to need to create a filter. Right click the source file folder, select filter, name it RackNet source. Do the same for the header files. After that's done, adjust the Visual Studio's window to half your screen, exposing your project folder. Select and drag your RackNet source folder and carefully drop it in your project name in Visual Studios. It's going to immediately parse the headers and CPP in its appropriate folders. For visual organization's sake, we are going to shift click all the headers and drag them into the RackNet source filter we just added. Collapse the filter. Do the same with the CPPs. Collapse the filter. Select your source folder, right click and select the add existing item. Control click the following four CPPs. See demo, see main menu, main and rack next stuff. When that's done, do the same with the header files. Next, we're going to set the environmental variables in the project. Go ahead and right-click the project name in the Solution Explorer. Navigate to the bottom and click Properties. Change the configuration to All Configurations. In general, go to Character Set. Change it to Not Set. Select the C, C++ tab. Go to Additional Include Directories. You're going to add a few directories from the project folder. Type in dollar sign open parentheses solution dir with a capital S and D. Close parentheses backslash the name of your project backslash type include. I would recommend copying the directory we just made. We're going to reuse it several times. Add an additional directory, paste the original directory in, replace the word include with Irelict Media. Do the same with the next line down and replace include with media. Again, do the same thing with the next line down and replace include with Arachnet source. One more time, replace include with mini, up, and pc-1.5. Please be aware of any spelling errors or any case sensitive mistakes. It's easy to do so and can be very difficult to track. Expand the linker tab in general. Navigate to additional library directories. Paste in the original directory. Replace include with Win32 Visual Studio.
Still, in the Linker tab, select Input and click Additional Dependencies. Type in WS2 underscore 32 dot LAB, not WS3, typo on my part. You may expand your Visual Studios. Make a build, it's going to take a few seconds, we're compiling all the RackNet code. After it's done, we're going to get a few errors. Double click the top error. Just add the F to the data type S color. That was due to the upgrade version adjustment from previous Arialic builds. Double click the next error regarding the PHP directory. It's going to take you to the include line. Delete the entire directory and just leave the header name. Do another build. Double click the top error. We're just going to delete the const prefix from the I scene node. Do another build. We're going to have to manually navigate to that error. Reveal the C demo header. Copy the data type I Ireland media path. Paste it in the pragma comment after the comma. Build again. Reveal the C demo CPP. Navigate to the update RackNet function. Scroll down to case ID connection request accepted. Highlight the following from the comment open UPNNP to the third closing brace. Comment out the selected block of code. Control K, then Control C. Build and run. And there we go. However, we're not done. Let's visually restore the main menu. Reveal the C main menu CPP. Scroll down and delete all instances of the generic path directory that lead to the media folder. When you're done, go ahead and run the application. Congratulations, you did it. I tried to keep as much of the original project integrity intact. However, I cannot get past the UPN error. If I ever find out how to resolve it without commenting it out, I'll post it. A couple of last notes worth mentioning. This is a portable project. All paths have reference within the folder, so it's mobile to different computers. This is also my first tutorial video I've ever made. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. It'll encourage me to continue to make more network multiplayer tutorial videos. I appreciate any feedback and friendly constructive critiques. Lastly, I enjoyed making this project together. This is George Gallardi signing off.